Hey, I'm your guide Q. Let's look at some neckbeard nests. So this has got to be the worst one so far. It's just mess on top of mess. Like, clothes is so much more preferable to actual garbage just everywhere all around the room. You got this nice CRT TV, and I just, ugh, I don't know. It makes me uncomfy looking at all this stuff. You got just grossness everywhere. You got straw burritas. You know you've gone wrong. You got four loco. It's just, it's all not very good. So the caption for this one is nest to be or am I just an overly judgmental friend? And I, I think this is definitely a nest. I hope you got permission from this person to post it. But uh, yeah, this is definitely, it is fully a nest. We got the twisted teas everywhere. Don't bring cases of twisted teas into your, like, I don't even know why you want them there. Wouldn't the fridge be a much better place for them? And then you just bring in like one, maybe two twisted teas at a time. We got a lot going on. I, there's no bed in this room. I just realized there's no bed in this room. There's just a pillow, some blankets the TV right in front of the sleeping spot. That can't be good. It's a little bit too close to the television. So this is an interesting one because it doesn't look that bad aside from like the Coke cans and the paper plates. And it seems like the mess is consolidated to the right side of the room. So we might be missing out on a lot of the mess that's all just kind of pushed over there. But you got a path to the bed. I really like these windows and the little molding on the ceiling or whatever. It's really cute, the little pattern up there and stuff. This is going to be just become architecture review, but this seems like a salvageable nest to me. So this person says this is their bedroom from a year ago. I'm not sure if it's gotten better or worse from that point, but uh, we got the stuff on the bed set up kind of going on, which has always confused me. Like, I've had a lot of stuff on my bed in the past, but I've got a king-size bed, so it kind of works out. I can just shove it all to one side, pretend that a partner is sleeping next to me, but it's just a pile of dirty laundry. But, like, does this person just shove it all in and sleep next to it, or do they just throw it all on the floor? It also seems like a lot of this mess could be gotten rid of if you just get those black bags out of there like I don't know what's in there if it's essential to your living on a daily basis but I feel like just eliminating those would make a huge difference right away so I am both amazed and confused by this setup I feel like if this place was clean it would be aesthetically incredible like you've got this tile on the floor you got this really cool chair over there I don't know what the fuck is up with this chandelier slash lamp it is way too low in the room like how are you not running into that fucking thing all day but this place would be really aesthetically sick if they cleaned it up and I really hope they do it always kind of makes me upset when there's animals in these shots because you can't imagine it's good for the animal also shout out Dr. Thunder shout out Mountain Lightning uh, good sodas good off brands you know so we got a few pictures here this is a dorm room nest which is always bad you know you're not really in a dorm room for that long so you should be able to keep it together to be fair my dorm room was a bit of a mess too but I kept it together for the sake of my roommate uh yeah you got stuff you got Apex Legends monster, you know, typical Apex Legends player. The last picture I'm not going to show you because it's kind of gross is a cup with some mold in it, but I, I don't know. Sound off in the comments if you've let a cup get moldy before. I sure have. I think it happens to the best of us. And honestly, this whole thing doesn't look that bad. Like, yeah, there's a little bit of gross stuff, but this could definitely be managed in like a day two max. So this is kind of a long video, so I'm just going to sort of skip through. This is somebody's buddy's garage and basement, and the garage really bums me out because you can, like, tell this was a functional space. You've got workbenches. You've got this, like, lift situation. It looks like you could fix a car. I don't know why you've got the rear fucking, like, trunk door of a Mercedes with, like, a shattered fucking rear window. I don't know why you keep that. Like, sell it to somebody, I guess. I don't know who's buying, but... But, yeah, overall, pretty messy. There's even more space in here like you've got a workout set thing it looks like like there is a lot of quality of life and activities to do that could be gained back by cleaning this space it's probably gonna be a challenge but hey buddy if you're filming this video for your friend of his space help him clean it up you know so this is some philosopher i think he's french jean piglet or something and this is his office it looks very you know it's stacked up with stuff but there is something very aesthetically pleasing about this image it's just like like, you know, the knowledge is there. The information is there. He probably knows where everything is, maybe. And I, I don't know. I, li I like the picture for sure. So this really isn't that severe of a nest. I would say the biggest issue is probably the desk seeming unusable because it's filled up with stuff. But, oh, this transition is so clean. It's just like a very minimalist space now with plenty of room for activities. The desk looks very comfortable to sit at and get some work done or play some games. It, it looks very nice. 
Okay, so this was identified as somebody's sister's leg beard nest, and I need to establish something real quick. Oh my god, I need to show you guys what I just did. I literally just went like this, like the biggest red. I need to establish something real quick. But anyway, uh, people have been complaining in the comments about like, oh, why do they call female neck beards leg beards? It's like unfair, you know? Nobody needs to shave their legs. But I actually think it's like the perfect parallel because they're both hair that naturally grows, but there's some societal expectation to not have that hair on your neck or not have that hair on your legs. So they're both just silly names for funny people on the internet anyway, but let's continue with the nest. So first pick, we got a really weird staircase. Obviously it's covered in clothes, but you got like a full size step that leads into like a half size step. that looks like it was made for a cat or something. This looks like a neck break just waiting to happen. But anyways, into the room, beanbag chairs, clothes everywhere. And once again, just shit strewn all over the place. It's not really like mountain territory where you can't actually walk on the regular floor. I also need to note, this person has like the sickest fucking room ever. It looks like they have an entire floor to themselves. Yeah, they have the sloped ceiling, which is a little bit inconvenient, but it looks like they also have two fucking rooms. Like there's a doorway over there as well. More stuff on the ground, more stuff on the ground. You got the vacuum, looks like it's ready to go to work. And another just room filled with shit. This is her closet. I just realized that this is the closet. Like if this were a smaller room, it would be absolutely packed to the gills. But because it's so huge, you've got just room for things to be strewn about. But we got it cleaned up with the neck break step looking good now. All this space looks great. The floor looks nice. Like this is a really, really sick space. Like if I was 30 years old living with my parents, this is the exact sort of room I would want. This is allegedly a teen's neck beard nest. And it's like, how does, if you're actually a teen, I'm guessing you live with your parents. How the fuck do they let you let it get this bad? How are they letting you order McDonald's? Like what is fucking going on? How is this even possible? Like if you're actually a teen, you must be like 17, 18. Cause you're not getting Mick delivery every day. If you don't like have a job and your own money, unless you just have like the worst parents of all time. And I would be totally ready to just shove the blame onto those two or that one or whatever you got. Whoever's in charge in this house is not doing a good job. This is rough. This says Discord Gamer Nest. And you can see, you can see, you can see next to the desk. You got the piss bottles on the ground. You got the desk just, there's an ashtray or a plate or something, but the cigarettes have just deeply overflowed from that. They're watching somebody eat. I don't want to know what these stains are on the pillow. I'm hoping it's blood. I it, Blood would be much preferable to any other thing being stained on that fucking, it's just not, this is bad. So let's cleanse the palette a little bit. This is a leg beard nest, mostly clothing, little bit of trash mixed in there, but we get the cleanup and it looks nice. I love that you moved the bed too. I feel like this bed position is much better. It looks like a really nice space. Like the vibes are good. I feel like the chi is on point, dude. It's very, very good in here. Okay, I, I just included this one for reasons. So this person said, I think it's time to seek help. Yeah, with your photo taking skills. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to mess with this person too much. The room is a lot of a mess. Hopefully they get it cleaned up. I also don't know what camera you have where it watermarks every photo in the bottom left. Like this is like a Walmart stolen camera or something like that. Anyway, hope I hope that you do better. I'm sorry that I'm pooping on you. Just, uh, funny things have happened in this photo. So this person <laughs> says this is a photo of their room when they were 11 years old. So you've got the full PC gamers set up at 11 and a room this messy somehow. Like what are the parents doing in this situation? I know you can't like force a kid to keep their room clean, but there's obviously like like levels to it and this is a little bit too much but this is their new setup since they're like 16 now or something it's very aesthetically pleasing much better looking than my office at 27 years old so good on this person so i i'm ruined by neck beard nest because i look at this and it looks kind of messy but i'm like this is not that bad like there's not much trash around and if there is it's paper trash i am concerned that you've just got your ipad like on the ground it's sort of mixed in with everything but uh this is really not a bad setup you can see the carpet does not look like dirty or stained or anything like that so this is an, an extremely salvageable room could probably happen in a day so this is said the french forum guys neck beard nest. i have no idea who the fuck the french forum guy is are we supposed to know who that is i don't know but this is an example of like it's not that cluttered but it feels very gross you know i, I don't know what's in those bottles it looks like it's the original beverage but you just can't be sure the pillows just look beat to shit you got the multiple pasta 
pasta bowls or they had some sort of red sauce in them. It's just, it's pretty gross. And the, the contrast with the organization of this shelf up here is really jarring because that looks really nicely put together and then everything else is just what it is, you know? So this person says, is this worthy of being on here? And I'd probably say no. I don't think this is that bad of a mess, but I included it because this desk setup is just a nightmare. I fucking hate it so much. It's way too thin. Like you've got keyboard, mouse, and then no other room whatsoever. Like I need some room for shit. And uh, like, I don't, you could totally turn this desk side. Maybe you don't have enough room for it. I don't pretend to know the extent of your space. But anyway, yeah, not that bad of a nest, but bad desk. So I'm not sure if we included this in a previous video. I remember seeing this Fallout New Vegas screenshot, so maybe we did, but anyway, there's an update to it, so this is a pretty bad mess. Way too many bottles, way too many cans, just shit everywhere. I don't even know where you sit or have a mouse and keyboard, or uh, maybe this is a game console or something like that, but either way, oh yeah, he's got the PS4. Anyway, I stand corrected, but it's not good. It's not a good setup, but here's the update. And honestly, the update, like, it's better. Like, there's definitely less stuff around, and I don't mean to be critical, but like, you, you've still got some work to do, and it's like just a different mess, kind of as opposed to like much better but it is better there has been an improvement and i hope you continue to improve so this one was captioned i asked for help and it's sort of a full house nest i'm gonna be honest with you guys i found this on r slash hoarders not r slash neckbeard nest but it's all the same shit at the end of the day you know uh you got a lot of mess going on in this bedroom here you see the progress everything piled on the bed sometimes it's the best way to consolidate everything to start cleaning it up and we're moving and we get this i mean there's still trash bags in the room but obviously they're gonna get rid of those and it's looking pretty nice and uh the lesson here is to ask for help you know like don't be afraid to reach out to people i'm sure your friends would much prefer to like see your house as a mess once and help you clean it up than to you know not be able to ever come over to your house you know and you don't even have to ask for help from a friend there are professionals out there specifically for this sort of thing and there was another post from this same person and you can see it's pretty bad in this space and then all the trash bags you got the vacuum out ready to go and look at that like look at this shit it's nice as fuck i would totally want to hang out here have a couple beers have some coffee you know have some paper towels you can have tons of fun with paper towels rip it once more and then again now you just got a crap load of squares look at all these squares Put this in a frame, give it to your mom for, for Mother's Day. That, this is like genuinely aesthetic and nice. Cringe video on the screen, new song on the music channel. We're gonna have an EP coming out soon. I just renamed the music channel to Freddy from Dear Marianne because I'm Freddy from Dear Marianne. It just makes more sense to have that be the name of the channel. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing super well. Skate on the best of your abilities, drink a lot of water. Channel members on the left, peace out, Cub Scouts.